my, um, my favourite leaflet of all time. I bet some of you haven't even got a favourite leaflet, have you? <laughs> sort it out. Um, no, it really, it really is. Um, you'll see why. And I kept it with me for about three months and showed it to everyone. It was a leaflet that came round the Union um, in about 1994, 95, and it was a Terence Higgins um, leaflet about um, safe sex. And it was aimed at the last demographic of, uh, of gay men that weren't taking HIV seriously enough. And so it was very hard-hitting and seen, and it used, like, really sort of colourful language to get the message across. And I remember it so well. And uh, the title of this flyer, you know it's going to be a good leaflet when this is the title. This is the opening gambit, right? It was called... You know, you don't always have to have anal sex. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> Think of a, a couple of old-age pensioners just queuing for their flu jab. <laughs> They're just browsing, Regis Digest. Uh, what's this one? <laughs> you know, you don't always have to have anal sex. See, I fucking told you. <laughs> but, so, that was what it's called, right? And it was a ten point plan of alternatives to, to, you know, that. So, number one, okay? Always started the same as well. Always started with why not, right? Why not, like casual. Like you're saying, like, um, like a recipe or something. Why not throw in an onion, right? <laughs> right, OK. Number one was this. And it had those little diagrams, like little drawings, like you get on safety things on planes. So anyway, number one, ten-point plan. Number one was... Think of this as medical advice, OK? Number one was, why not just wank each other off? <laughs> I've got the new leaflet. Oh, what does it say? Why not just wank each other off? OK. Oh, heaven. <laughs> Casual. Number two. Number two was great. Again, just a casual suggestion, right? Number two was... What? Always the same. Why not? Right? Number two. Why not come on his back? At this soup case, why not? Imagine you queue up to see a GP. They go, the GP will see you now, and he's sort of writing, come in, sit down, what can I do for you? Um, I'm, I'm gay and I'm worried about HIV. Um, come on his back. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, whenever I showed this to people, when I got to this one, people were laughing, going, oh, and they went, oh, right? <laughs> Number three, it's the worst one. Number three is... Why not come in his hair? <laughs> not the hair. <laughs> on the back. <laughs> come on the back, sure, on you go, go on. <laughs> Hurry up. Where are you fucking aiming that? Not on the hair. <laughs> the, fuck off, there. <laughs> fucking better not. I'm putting on a shower cap. So. <laughs> number four. Oh, number four. I have not before or since heard such a great use of the term EG as in this next sentence. <laughs> number four, I swear, was... Why not come into a piece of fruit E.G. Watermelon. <laughs> what? Why do you need that? Like, they put it out without that. People are going, well, what fruit? Well, I'm, I'm watermelon. Thank you. I need to know what fruit. <laughs> need to know exactly what fruit. I don't want to get it wrong. I thought arses was all right. I was wrong there. I don't want to make... So, watermelon, yeah? Good. <sighs> and on and on. Number 10, I'll just tell you number 10. Because number 10 might be the greatest sentence of all time, right? <laughs> And I think the bloke writing it was under pressure from his boss. He'd done nine. <laughs> and his boss came in and said, how's it going? I've done nine. He goes, we need ten. I can't do ten. I'm, I'm struggling. I'm doing hair. I'm doing backs. I'm... We need ten. You've got till 5.30. And this is what he came up with. This is... My... Right. Number ten, and I swear, right, was... What? 
can't both come out of a window? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> and it didn't even say, make sure it's not a ground floor window. <laughs> Morning. No, this is number 17, number 19. I think, I think, I think they're out. Oh. Oh. And that leaflet, this is a confession, this is a confession. That leaflet must have affected me. And that was ten years ago. Last summer, I was walking down Old Compton Street. It was about ten o'clock at night, and I was walking. And just before I got to Mamma Mia, a pigeon shat on me. <laughs> Obviously a pigeon. I went, oh. Then I went... expect to see two going, got him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is the best leaflet of all time, isn't it? <laughs> but a serious message. And uh, I think the last successful protest was to bring the gay age of consent down to 16, which is what I was talking about earlier. It forces the hand of democracy being heard. And there was millions of people on that march saying, this is what we want, we want the law changed. And the government, it was 1997. They said, yeah, if that many people want it, that's a referendum, change the law. And they brought the gay age of consent down to 16. I didn't see many 16-year-olds on the march. <laughs> it was, no. It's a, it was mainly 42-year-old men with <laughs> leather trousers, shaved grey hair and backpacks, but 16-year-olds were busy doing homework or watching, watching it on telly, probably, going, we're going to get buggered. No, they were just... Uh... <laughs> so, no mothers on the march. No 55-year-old women going, what do we want? For our sons to get done at the arse. <laughs> when do we want it? Well, soon, before they're 17, please. <laughs> but I don't think it matters who fights for your right to take it up the ass. So... <laughs> at this point, I just want to make sure we've covered gays and Nazis. <laughs> yeah. Good. OK, we can move on. <laughs> gays and Nazis. But enough about the Conservative Party. <laughs> Satire. They have had their fair share of sleaze, haven't they, the Conservative Party? And not like... I mean, all parties get a little bit of sleaze, but it's not like cool stuff like Labour, like punching a farmer or having two jags. There's his... Do you remember that Conservative MP, Stephen Milligan? Found dead uh, with a noose round his neck, amyl nitrate laced orange in his mouth, bag on his head, laid his tights. <laughs> I'll be honest, I think he was wanking. 